Whether your child wants to play softball, basketball, football, or any other sports outdoors, the district wants them to play safe. That means staying hydrated. Three, two, one, time. And we're trying to get faster. Let's go, Jewish man, top. We're trying to get stronger. Just like that, strength and conditioning practice starts again for senior Jonathan Martinez. His team is getting ready now for basketball season in October. We lost so many seniors this year, and well, we're short right now on players, so we're trying to get stronger and faster just to be good for the senior year. 90 degree weather doesn't keep them from the field, but athletics director Silvia Barrera says there are safeguards for students participating in the summer sports program. It's important that you hydrate before the activity, during the activity, and after the activity. So, you know, coaches and the people that are in charge of our programming, they're very cognizant of that. Aside from taking breaks, Jonathan prepares before going outdoors. And I don't eat before practice because since we, it's so hot outside, like, I end up throwing up, but I just drink a lot of water so I can stay in, in good condition. It's all part of a year-long strategy for success. It's my senior year, so I want to go to the playoffs this year. This advice is not just for children taking part in the summer sports program at the district. Parents who take their children out to the park or for any other outdoor gatherings are advised to monitor their child's health in order to avoid sunburns, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and cramps. For KGNS, I'm Valerie Gonzalez.